Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome to Graveyard Keeper. This game uh, just came out on Steam, well, I guess technically by the time you're watching this video, it came out yesterday. But uh, anyways, this game is brand new on Steam. Uh, it looks to be a pretty cool game, let's dive right in and check it out. It's an ordinary day, and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. The English is not very good. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Ah. That had to hurt. <laughs> oh, we're dead. Lovely. What happened? Where is everything? I like the guy's beard. Calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There's always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. <laughs> That's not a home! <laughs> that means I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. <laughs> but I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? Oh, what a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, I guess let's go find Jerry. <laughs> We've got a new task. I guess we'll just go outside. I have played through this previously, so I know that none of the chests in there will do anything, so... We will quickly walk out here and do what the game tells us to do. Let's find Jerry here. He's gonna guide us through the game a bit. We gotta dig him up. And his little sound effect is kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> Holy sard! Hey, are you Jerry? Mm, why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I needed to dig up Jerry. A red eye? Nah, I remember. No, sard. That's right. I'm Jerry. Now, how did you find me? A man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask. Who are you, and where the sard are we? Uh, I'm not sure myself. I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm. You're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. Alright, I'll go uh, talk to this donkey on my own. Thank you very much. Hello, Mr. Donkey. <laughs> got, a, got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a, a talking donkey? Who? Huh? <laughs> what? You can understand me? Let's talk! Uh, who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carats a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? That bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Uh, he just dropped me off a corpse there. Thanks, bro. <laughs> just what I always wanted. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. And it might be profitable. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Come on, let's do it! So we use E to pick up items. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Da, 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 pick it up. Got the corpse. Let's go into the morgue. <laughs> it's kind of dark game, right? Sard, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? <laughs> No way! This isn't right! Sure, sure, it's not right. How can I forget? 
Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. <laughs> it isn't right that you don't know where you are. <laughs> is it right that I'm a skull? <laughs> Nothing is right <laughs> here. <laughs> so shut the sword up and do what I tell you. <laughs> you promise you'll tell me how to get home? <laughs> you just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. <laughs> talking skulls never lie. <laughs> and then, bring the beer to me. <laughs> You've unlocked a new technology and got a couple new blueprints. We can now extract flesh. Yum. Alright, put this guy on the autopsy table here. Let's perform our autopsy on this poor dead guy. Uh, we have the flesh. Sunday is not complete. Let's grab that. Extract the flesh. Yes. And then now we have to hold our F button to do the work. That does all the work like digging and things like that. We have unlocked a new technology. For creating a burger, creating a sandwich, and creating baked meat. Out of flesh from a flippin' corpse. <laughs> That's disgusting! Yeah, <laughs> you'll get used to it. So, so what should I do with the corpse? <laughs> I don't know. Let's bury it. <laughs> Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Yeah, don't mind me. I'll do all the work. You just uh, go ahead. Uh, let's take this body here. Going outside, here's the graveyard. Imagine we'll be spending a lot of time here as the graveyard keeper. <laughs> Let's see here, what are we supposed to do with this thing now, <laughs> Mr. Skull? Let's bury it. So we have a blueprint desk at the graveyard to mark a site for the grave, and then dig it with your shovel. Uh, and then we place the body or whatever remains of it into the grave, bury, and decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. Gotcha, thank you very much. All right, so we need to go over here. We need to select our grave site. And for now, I guess this one right here is gonna work just as well as any. I don't know if there's any benefit to them, uh, but it looks like there's already lots of graves filling up other areas. We probably have to clear out trees and stuff to make room for others later. But we, oh, that's in the way. A little shrubbery there. We gotta dig our grave here for this poor sod. Place him in the ground, and then we have to cover him up. Pick him up the body, and... Oh, I hit the wrong button. My bad. Gotta hit E to put him in the ground. I hit F. There we go. Now F to bury him. There we go. Done. Nicely done. Mm, this burial certificate. Mm, I remember money and alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> I'm sure I used to like it a lot. Oh, Sard. Here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I'd better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. <laughs> We're gonna bring a skull a beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Uh, what's up, Mr. Bishop? How's it going, bro? Huh. Keeper, there you are. Yeah, that's me. How's it going? I'm Jimmy. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. As uh, so we have a tutorial, we can fix up graves. Uh, you probably need uh, special resources to repair graves, and we have a uh, church appeal, basically, uh, about the location information. It gives us that at the time, and I suppose in one of the corners, I haven't noticed it yet. But anyways, we need resources to clean up the graves and make this place look presentable. I don't know why you want a beautiful graveyard, but that's what they want. And then, uh, I guess we can progress things, I don't know. Anyways, you've unlocked a new technology and got the ability to create a wooden marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five skulls, whatever that is, it's a random arbitrary number, I don't know what exactly what that means, but I'll be pleased to promote you. Okay. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. <laughs> I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen. To represent his will. <laughs> Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every 
uh, whatever that day symbol is. I don't know. Maybe I'm not dreaming. <laughs> Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. Oh, what should I say? Uh, so why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. <laughs> I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Ah, okay, we got a new task there. So, uh, I'm not the keeper, you know, I was uh, going home from work and uh, was hit by a car, I think. I need to go home. Uh, there's this talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. <laughs> a fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is BB? I don't know who. I am. <laughs> Blessed and beautiful. That's a lame joke. I'm just gonna ignore that, bro. <laughs> So about this certificate. Can you tell me more about the burial certificate? It's your payment for laying our brethren to rest. It's all part of an ancient contract between the town and the village. Couldn't you just pay me some money or something? I don't know. As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Oh god, this seems too complicated to be a dream. <sighs> about the town. Oh, the town is the heart of our glorious land. The palace, the cathedral, everything is there. Well, you should see it for yourself. <laughs> Put in those clothes? <laughs> that would be rather funny. <laughs> well, how can I get to the town? It's not far from the village. Just head south from the tavern. Okay, south from the tavern the town, I guess. So what about this village? Where's that at? Just go east from the graveyard gate along the old stone road. Alright, no more questions about that. Uh, how can I fix the graveyard, bro? What's up? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour. But this is your job. Alright, so again, we get the same pop-up. Gotcha. Alright, done talking to this guy. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. Well, thank you so much, buddy. To craft new items, you need to unlock relevant technology. This costs tech points. Press the tab button, open the technology tree. So this is a very um, RPG-based style of game. It's got a lot of uh, uh, crafting. It's got a lot of, uh, it seems at least, I haven't gotten very deep into it, but it's got crafting. It's got uh, tech trees. It's got, you know, a skill trees and things like that. It seems like I'll open that up here in just a second. But uh, red points represent your handcrafting skills and your ability to work in the materials. Green points represent your knowledge about nature and the things of nature itself. And blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. You earn points simply by doing anything. You can also get points by studying new items at a special table, which we obviously haven't unlocked yet, but this is still pretty cool. You get little skill points and attribute points. I mean, you get points for doing everything in the game, and you can spend those points to unlock new technologies to further advance, I guess, the game and, and what you can build and craft and that sort of thing. So uh, we just unlocked a stone stockpile technology. We can gather stone rocks. You can collect a small piece of stone from a small rock or get a huge piece from a big rock. Okay. And a timber stockpile. Gathering small tree felling. Chop down a small tree to get one log, or we can gather sticks. You can collect sticks from dry bushes. All right, cool. So this is the tech tree, and I obviously have not played the game more than uh, about 20 minutes or so, so I haven't really had a chance to dive into that yet, but we will get into that later. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. You, have, you, you earn points by doing things in the game, and you can spend those points to unlock new uh, technology trees to further advance the tree and unlock new recipes new things you can do in advance in the game so it seems pretty cool we have a map here we can i have obviously have just been home sweet home and in the morgue and the graveyard is all i know so far uh but the 
the cleric said we needed to go east to go to the town, and then from there south, or no, that was the village, and then south from there was the town, I believe is what he said. Anyways, um, this is our character, we've got some inventory, we've got a shovel and that piece of flesh we carved off, and over in the trunk there's apparently some repair kits, and an axe, a rusty pickaxe, and a rusty hammer, so we got some tools. Um, what's left? Oh, the known NPCs. We've obviously met the Gravekeeper. That's us. That's me. That's you. That's us right now. Um, and we need to get back home to your love. Sell the burial, burial certificate at the tavern so it kind of gives you an idea of what you need to do to progress things. We need to go get a beer for Jerry, uh, the donkey. We don't have any tasks for him right now. But the bishops, we need to reach uh, five skulls at the graveyard. I'm not sure what that is. You know, it says that up here at the top for the bishop. Um, but I guess right now we're at negative 29 on the quality, so we got a lot of work to do, I guess. Uh, it's pointing us to this shed here, so let's open that up. Oh, this is where all of our tools are in the trunk. Okay, um... I don't know. Let's try grabbing a repair kit. A wood one. Oh, I didn't mean to grab all four, but I don't guess it really matters. Grab the stone repair kit. Uh, an axe? Maybe we can chop down some trees or something? I'm always down for... Oh, wait. Now it wants me to go. Where does it want me to go? See, all these have negative attributes on them, so we need to clean these up and beautify the area. Oh, can we remove these shrubs? And that would... That's a negative one, so if we remove that, the quality went up. Ah, that's cool. Okay. So it's an eyesore. You clean it up, it looks better. Sweet. Okay, this is a guy we just buried. Why is it a negative one? Oh, we need a gravestone. Uh, we can exhume the body. Why on earth would I ever want to do that? I wouldn't, okay? I just wouldn't. Can we build him a... Oh, I can't build him a headstone or anything? That's lame. What is this station over here? The real service box will start working once the church opens again. Okay, is this a thing right here? No. Oh, this is... So is this a church? Enter, the door's locked. Oh, well, I guess I won't be going there. Let's follow the arrow. Let's see where this takes us. Uh, there's the morgue. And I guess that's our home up there where we started off when we woke up. Is this our energy bar or stamina or health or something up here? kind of wonder what's all around here. Oh, you know, I bet we can expand and open up new graveyards, maybe? This looks like a stable of some kind. What is this? The garden. Ah, property and forfeiture. For commercial use, contact the tavern owner, Horadric. Horadric, that's a name right there. Okay, uh, let's leave that. I can't claim the property, but that's pretty cool. We can maybe get a garden later. It's kind of interesting. So it has some very, uh, maybe Stardew Valley type uh, feel to it. The, the art style a little bit, maybe. Um, what is, oh, is that a guy? Oh, 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 oh. oh, what's up, bro? By order of the Great Inquisitor, this path is closed until this symbol comes up. Whatever that is. Oh, is this the days of the week? Is this a calendar th type thing? Maybe it's time. Maybe it's days of the week. I'm not sure. We'll have to sort that out. I kind of wish they would explain that in the tutorial. Maybe, I mean, there is no tutorial. I mean, technically, we're playing it right now. But they haven't explained that yet. Oh, okay, I just noticed the moon is moving across the sky there. Oh, where are we at? Let me pull up my map. Ah, a wheat farm. Okay, cool. The arrow is still telling us to go further. Oh, we can walk through the wheat. The arrow is still telling us to go further this way. The town of the village is supposed to be east. Maybe this is... Ah, this looks like something here. Hello? Uh, excuse me, bro? What's up, buddy? We can talk in the day. Not now. I'm so busy walking around in circles. The Dead Horse Tavern. Hmm, sounds like a lovely establishment. Let's go in. The Dead Horse Tavern. We got two people here that have little icons above their heads. Uh, hello, madam. This is Miss Chain. Hello, you must be the new graveyard keeper. Yep. So I've been told. But how did you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people too. But where are my manners? 
I'm Mrs. Chain, Frederick's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about... Oh, oh. You better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Alright, well, thanks, Miss Chain. Uh, Horadric, I think she said your name is? Yes. Horadric, what's up, bro? Welcome to the Dead Horse Heaven. I am Horadric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today, and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. What's so good about it, man? Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Ooh. Uh, quite a few options. I'd like to trade you some fresh meat! Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be happy to buy it. It just needs to see... I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. The royal meat stamp? What the heck is that? Many years ago, there was an ancient with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Ah, uh, no. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about this. I just carved it off this dead body. I don't even want to know where one can get unauthorized meat. But wow, <laughs> it really looks good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. <sighs> where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. Okay, what's up, man? There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest... I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Mrs. Charm. She comes here every... Uh, I bet she can help you to find Snake. Alright, thanks. Uh, so about this uh, burial certificate I got here. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates. Oh, yes, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course. <laughs> Only if I have any money. <laughs> what do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. <sighs> Alright, what about this garden I saw? I found an abandoned garden near the graveyard. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, the garden. It was seized by the merchant to cover someone's debts. I can't find anybody who will take it, who will make any use of it. Hmm. I can give you permission to use the garden. Who else would agree to grow crops near the graveyard? Hey, cool! Blueprint, empty garden bed. Can we use the... Oh, cool, he gave us permission? Sweet! Uh, he keep listening? Ask about the details? Ask about the details. You should find someone who will use it. You said that the garden belonged to the merchant. It's a bit tricky. He has the right to rent it, but everything north of the path to the town is village property. We have a democratic community here, and I'm head of it. Ah, uh, I see. Good, but you still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. Oh, so I can't really use it. It's not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval. But it'll be fine if you just promise to settle the details with him later. Oh, sure, I'll talk to him. Yeah, no problem. Another task here. He comes to trade with the locals every... Ugh, this day system is going to bug me, AI, these little symbols. He owns the barn just south of the tavern. Just south of the tavern in the barn. Okay. So, uh, you know how I can get back home? 
<laughs> Can you tell me where I am? Because I really just want to get home. My uh, darling will be so worried. Hello, hello. You're at the dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It, it looks uh, medieval. Maybe I travel through time. And what year is it now? Hello, hello. Year? What do you mean? Uh, the time it takes for the Earth to make a revolution around the sun. Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows that the Earth is flat. Oh my god, not flat earthers. No! But I get you. It's 204 after the ancient contract. And what is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom. And it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? No, I'm out, bro. Thanks. Peace out. Uh, oh, Keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kresvold? That's a terrible name. Kresvold. Sure. Uh, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Alright. Did this lady... Where'd that lady go? Waddle-a-boo! Dee boo boo do You wanna be loved by me! <laughs> She's singing. <laughs> Shaluma do wa wa. <laughs> All right, she's singing. Hello. She appears to be a very buxom lady as well. How are you, ma'am? Mrs. Charm. Hi. What do you want? Well, I'm a graveyard keeper, and I want to ask you some questions. I see. You know how many times a day I hear that same mumbling? I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Wow, that's harsh, lady. But, uh... Ciao! Hey, friend! Can I have a moment? Hey, what's up, bud? What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally to go away. Ah, uh, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. I'm not just anyone. I'm the local graveyard keeper. Soon to be prior of the local church. <laughs> How primitive. I'm a well-known poet in certain small circles. My name is Wagner. One day, I'll read my poem to her, and then we'll... <sighs> but first, I need to write it, and I'm catastrophically out of paper and ink. Maybe you can get me some. Oh gosh, another task? How many things do we have to do? Where do I get paper and ink? Where do I find paper and ink, bro? You may have some of it at your church, or you can make it. I'm just not used to manual labor, but a skillful man such as you can surely do it easily. Also, could you you could get some from the old astrologer. He used to go to the lighthouse every moon-shaped day. <laughs> he was my supplier before we had this ridiculous fight. Oh my god. Alright, so the astrologer at the lighthouse. Where's the lighthouse? It's on a cliff to the east of the village. It hasn't been it hasn't seen activity use for a while. Bless the dead horse for staying open. One day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple of lines about you. So, how about this old astrologer guy? He's old and mad. Whereas I've been studying for three almost three years at the town university. Can you believe he turned out to be an idiot? He told me that the earth is round. What nonsense! Uh, yeah, it, actually, bro, it is round. Oh god, you should definitely meet him. The mad astrologer and the graveyard keeper. Two <laughs> wise men. Hmm, that could make for a pretty funny poem. Uh, this astrologer must be the smartest man around. Maybe he'll be able to help me get back home. Peace out, bro. Alright, so, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do, I guess. <laughs> we need to find this astrologer, and we need to go find... What was it, the blacksmith or somebody? He's in south or southeast or something like that. I don't know where the lighthouse is. I... He probably told me. I probably wasn't paying attention close enough. Hello, what's up? 
Oh, the path to the town is closed. You need a town pass. Of course I do! Another obstacle in my path! Oh! <laughs> I gotta get this to go there, and this and there, and there to go that, and this and this to do that, and unlock this. Ugh. I can, I can dig that up. I don't really want to dig that up. Eh? Hey, this kind of looks like it might be a blacksmith's house. That, yeah, that's a forge right there. This must be the blacksmith. Hello? Kresvold, yes! Hey, what are you staring at? Uh, nothing, I'm just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kresvold. Uh, so I got this letter for you here. Uh, it's from Hordrick. A letter, of course. One minute away, and he can't be bothered to come himself. <laughs> I guess his old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. This seems it's my new habit. Mm, slimes again. Radrick has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards. But maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with the whetstone of the grinder right behind me. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me their remains and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up the other side of my house, near the puddles. This guy's got an excellent disposition. I like this guy. Kresvold. You need to sharpen an old sword and kill two slimes behind the smithy. Different actions of the game spend your energy. Crafting, gathering, and fighting take energy. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Ooh. Press spacebar to attack. You can always refill your health and energy with food and potions. Press tab to open up your inventory. Sleeping will also restore your health and energy. Good to know. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll come back when I defeat the slimes, buddy. Uh, gotta use this whetstone here. Craft. Pick a resource to use. Uh, this busted old sword here. Uh, it's got the whetstone, so craft. Oh, we gotta hold F to work. Do it. Oh, uh, cool. Sharpened our stone. Sweet. We got a, a rusty sword instead of a broken sword now. Oh, crap! You see the slimes up there? Do I dodge? Do I fight? How's this fighting work? Is it press spacebar to attack? Oh! Oh, I have a sword! Fear me, slimes! Taste my blade! Evil fiends! Hey, that wasn't that tough, actually, at all. <laughs> we got some green jelly for it. Nom nom nom. What flavor is it? All right, blacksmith. I took care of those two slimes for you. Task completed. Oh, we got some simple iron parts. Good job. Take this whetstone. Just sharpen your broken tools, and they'll be as good as new. Cool. You've unlocked a new technology and got uh, an ability to create green jelly and red jelly. Sweet! Uh, hey, you know where we can find some metal ore? You know what? Oh, wait, sorry. You know what? I like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some ore? You can find metal ore in the swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west, across the river. I used to collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. So I can't actually go there because the bridge is collapsed. Probably gonna fix the bridge or something to get over there. They got a blueprint for a furnace. We can create iron ingots and gathering swamp iron. Awesome. Uh, I'll see you, bro. Take care. Um, we got a bunch of other tasks, but my energy is kind of low here. Uh, I don't know how low. I guess I guess we can't do anything once our energy runs out. So we can't go to the town because the road is closed, and we need a town pass. Can't go that way. Uh. Is there a way to pull up our tasks that we have? No NPCs. There we go. All right, so we need to get beer. Uh, why was it he wouldn't he wouldn't give us a beer for some reason, right? Let me go back. I don't remember that. Um, demonstrate that you're worthy of talking to her. Find ten paper and one ink. Uh, we probably should work on that. Maybe if we can go find the um, lighthouse and collect that maybe try and find some paper from him he said we can also get it in the church but the door to the church is locked right now so i don't know uh what should we do let me see known npcs you need to get back home to your love 
demonstrate that you're worth talking to. Uh, clean up our graveyard. Get a beer from the tap. Did he, did he say? Maybe he said it, and I just wasn't paying attention. But why couldn't we get a beer? Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Let me get in the tavern here. The Dead Horse Tavern. Can I get, can I get a beer? It's good you know how to use a sword. Criswell told me about how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Ah, we got a beer. Sweet. All right, so we need to take the beer uh, back to the Talking Skull. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, psst. Come here. Where have you been? I was at the village. Uh, this place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody's okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> Sarge, you're stealing my thoughts! <laughs> stealing? I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. You've unlocked a new technology, and we can gather edible mushrooms, berries, and apples. Sweet! <laughs> Wheat! Exactly! I remember baking bread out of it. And pies. Mmm, sweet berry pies. And we can now create dough, pastry dough, and bread. Toast! Onion toast! Oh, that's good with beer. Sard, you know what? Ah, I need a beer. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like how you can get home. Any questions? Uh, yeah, um, about this little small road right here. Can you tell me about it? It was the rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with answers? <laughs> well, uh, technically, yeah, you, you do. Sarge, you smartass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. Well, dang it, I, I had a beer. Did it, did he take it? And that was like he just unlocked it. No, I've still got the beer. Okay, so I guess. Wait, can we use this place now? Farming? Well, I can claim the property. Read this first. Property and forfeiture for commercial for commercial use. Contact the owner, Horadric. Commercial use. Huh. We'll come back to that. Let's go find the uh, skelly bones. The skull here. Is he gonna be? Oh, what is this? A place for stones. Oh, this is where you can store stuff. A place for wood logs. All right. Cool. This is our tutorial on building. I will read that later. I'm not looking to build. Let's find the skull. Maybe he's inside. Enter. Oh, is this the cellar? Oh, cool. What's that sound? Well, there's somebody down here. Damn gate. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. What's this guy doing down here? Oh, I can't even get over there. Looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. Clear it out. Oh, I could clear it out if I had like 70 energy, a bunch of other stuff, some wood wedges, some wooden planks. So we're gonna have to get to gathering materials, crafting them into particular items, and uh, clearing things out to get progress so we're kind of we're finding a lot of the roadblocks early on in the game there's a lot of you know oh cool can i chop i can chop this up into wood sweet oh i got skills or i got experience basically oh i got flour what is this oh a recipe for simple and tasty I like tasty. Can I use it? Ah, there we go. You have unlocked a new technology and got baked mushrooms and baked apples we can create. Sweet! What is this thing? Build a trunk. I can build a trunk for storing things down in our cellar. Oh, okay, so we want to probably want to put like our extra food stuff and things like that uh, from harvesting down here in the cellar. Got a board. Got some more XP. Alright, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I still need to find the skull, though. Where did he go? Uh, nothing in these chests, but I suppose I could use them to store a few things. What was this? A garden certificate. Hmm. Let me, 
Hang on a minute. Garden certificate. I can't do anything with it. I probably have to present it to the merchant. Anyways, well, it's nighttime again. Weren't that stupid? Oh, he's probably in the morgue. That's right. That's where he. Maybe that's where he likes to hang out. Where was it at? Here it is. Ah, there he is. What's up, Skellybones Jerry? Hey, where's my beer? All right, all right. Here's your beer. Uh, what a disappointment. I think I'll need something stronger. <laughs> all right, you seem like a decent guy. So here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. I don't remember too clearly. But it was for doing something similar that I lost my body. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right. I should probably be more careful. So, what was your question? Let's see. How can I get home? Easy. I'm sure you could use the portal on Witch Hill. Oh, that's easy. I just need to go through it or what? Do I need to turn it on first, or...? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Wow, the church has a library in its cellar. Maybe the young astrologer knows. He's a smart boy. Alright, so we have lots of new things to do and discover. Uh, how can I get to the library? Obviously through the church. I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Oh, so we gotta go clear out the wine cellar to get to the church cellar to go through the church to get to the library. I'm seeing how this is uh, panning out here. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net. I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish, this sard. Got no hands to show how big it was, but believe me, it was huge! I hate fish tails. And once. Uh, you know what? I just remembered something. I, I need to go. Sure, sure. It's nice, to ha it's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. Oh, now we gotta bring him wine for him to talk to us again. <laughs> uh, uh, one last thing uh, about this astrologer. Oh, he's so smart and very cheerful, though I don't know him personally. I think. But his wine was the best, and he's a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. He used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon. So, uh, where's the lighthouse again? Somewhere near. Let's see... Sardin, I don't remember. All these questions are so frustrating. You're not a very good friend, you know. Alright, my bad, bro. Uh, I'll see you later. I'll, I'll come back with some wine. See you later. <laughs> All right, so it's night time. We need to get some rest. We used up a lot of our energy today, but that is Graveyard Keeper. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I had fun playing it and doing all the voices, uh, although admittedly my, my, my throat's a little sore from doing a couple of those, <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, if you haven't already, guys, subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Post me any comments or questions down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.